Welcome into Ford Field, uh, home of the Detroit Lions, but today it's hosting the 2012 Mac Media Day. I'm joined now by Tyler Tettleton, Ohio's quarterback, the Manning Award, the O'Brien Award. The individual recognition has gone on and on, but do you really pay attention to that here before the season starts? Uh, you know, not really. You know, it's a, it's a great honor to be a part of those lists and everything, but, you know, I'm more of a team-oriented guy and, you know, all about what we want to achieve on the field. And, um, you know, that's what I'm really excited for this year is for what we want to do and, uh, you know, just excited taking more of a leadership role this year. Last year, you kind of shared those responsibilities with LeVon Bazell on offense, a couple other senior core core members of that are now gone. How has it changed for you in terms of now everything's on your shoulders there as the leader of the offense? Yeah, I think I have to kind of take it on myself to, you know, kind of lead these guys. Uh, but, you know, we, we have a lot of good guys around me, a lot of guys that are coming back and, uh, you know, been a part of our success that we've had here. And, um, you know, that's always great to see, and, you know, that makes me more comfortable, you know, being out there is that we have a lot of veteran guys out there um, that can lead this team and, you know, step up and do great things for us, and, uh, you know, that's always great to have. And there might be a couple of names that the Bobcat fans might not know yet who, you'll, who you're going to be throwing to this, uh, this fall, but um, what can the Bobcats, Bobcats expect from this offense this year? Uh, you know, it hurt losing LeVon, Riley, and Dante, you know, and, uh, you know, of course, our two tackles. But, you know, we have a lot of good guys stepping in and a lot of guys that had some uh, playing experience last year. And, uh, uh, you know, with receivers-wise, we have Dante uh, Foster, Mario DeVille, uh, Tyler Futrell, um, running back Bo Blankenship, and then Ryan Boykin. And, um, you know, the list just goes on, I feel like. And, uh, you know, we're really excited to have those guys out and uh, to, you know, to replace Riley and uh, LeVon. And, um, you know, I think they're going to fit in right where off the offense needs them to be and, uh, you know, do good things this year. So. And you guys had uh, arguably the best season in, in football history here at Ohio University, picking up the first bowl game victory in school history. Uh, how hard was it to – or was it, was it hard to – to kind of forget last season, really focus on this season, put in the time during spring ball, and uh, kind of uh, try and gain even more success this year? Uh, you know, after the season, uh, you know, we looked back and reflected on the, our past year, and, you know, we, it was an amazing year for us. And, you know, it's something to build on. You know, this year we want to, you know, take it up a notch and, you know, uh, get one more win, get 11 wins, and, uh, you know, obviously win the MAC. Uh, we, we feel like we have some unfinished business there and, uh, you know, want to win that and, uh, of course, get to a bowl game and win that too. So, um, you know, we, we just want to continue to keep progressing and, uh, you know, do good things for the university, and I, I think we will this year. In the first game against Penn State, everyone knows, everyone's been hearing the news. I'm sure you guys watch the news as well. Has the, has the media attention focused around Penn State served as any distraction to you guys? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, I, I think all the guys realize that, you know, it's just going to be another game and, you know, all that stuff is off the field stuff. And, you know, the only thing we can focus on is just a game, you know, and I, I think nobody's going to be distracted by it. We're, we're going to be excited to go in there and, you know, hopefully hopefully get a win and uh, play our best. And, um, you know, I think that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to and the team's looking forward to. And uh, we're just really excited. Playing against a, a Big Ten powerhouse like Penn State, do you relish that opportunity to go out and play with the big boys? Because you know, a lot of times during recruitment, guys that end up at MAC schools and uh, players that end up at smaller schools like that um, might have got snubbed a little bit. Do you guys feel like you have a chip on your shoulder to prove that just because you're from a MAC school doesn't mean you can't play with the big boys? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, we're we're always excited for those games, and uh, you know, especially uh, these past three or four years. You know, with what we've been doing here at Ohio and the success that we've been having, you know, we want to go out and prove that. You know, we're a team to talk about and that, you know, we can maybe sneak into the top 25 and everything. And, you know, it all starts with uh, Penn State. And, uh, you know, I think we're excited for that and the guys are ready for it. And um, I, I just can't wait to get it going. All right. He's Tyler Tettleton. Watch out for him this fall. Reporting for the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Mark Pierce. Make sure you turn in to woub.org backslash sports. Further, further information from Media Day here in Detroit.